Hey, good morning. This is so beautiful. I wanted to share this with you. Um, I got up pretty early this morning and um, I'm just doing my, my devotional and I'm in Numbers 23. And I wanted to share this with you because we have so many people that are fearful of witchcraft. And I talk to people all the time that are so fearful that someone's going to put a spell on them or someone's going to use magic against them. And I was one of those people. And I want to share this verse with you because you can claim and declare this over yourself. So this is Numbers 23, 22. It says, God who brought you out of Egypt gives you strength of a wild ox. Thus one cannot put a spell on Jacob and no magic will work against Israel. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. I thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, that you, Jesus, give us strength of a wild ox. Lord, and that no one can put a spell on Jacob. No magic will work against Israel. You guys, I want you guys to read this in its fullest context, okay? So ready. So it's Numbers 23, 19. God is not a human who lies or a mortal who changes his mind. When he says something, he will do it. And when he makes a promise, he will fulfill it. Look, I am ordered to bless when he blesses and I cannot reverse it. No one has seen guilt in Jacob or perceived perversity in Israel. Adonai, their God, is with them and acclaimed as king among them. God, who brought them out of Egypt, gives them the strength of a wild ox. Thus one cannot put a spell on Jacob. No magic will work against Israel. You guys, somebody needs to hear this right now. Somebody needs to hear that no magic will work against you, you child of Israel. And no one can put a spell on you. You daughter, you, you, you need to know this. You daughter or son of God need to know that no one can put a spell on you. And no magic will work against you. Why? Because you are a child of God. Why? Because he says that what he does, no one can change it. No gifts, no callings, are they are all irrevocable. Nothing can be, nothing, nothing. The only thing that can happen is hindrance. And what is hindrance? It's from unbelief. It's from doubt. It's from lies from the enemy. He cannot take your joy. He cannot take the presence of God. All he can do is lie to you. And no magic and no spell will work against you. And you have been brought out of Egypt. And he gives you the strength of a wild ox. So right now, I want you guys to do this. I want you to say this out loud. God has brought me out of Egypt and he gives me the strength of a wild ox and no one can put a spell on me and no magic will work against me. And I command every lie that comes against that to leave me now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to breathe in and breathe out and let the breath of God who slays the wicked deliver you from that lie from the pit of hell. Because I'm telling you that if you know your authority and you know the breath of God is a upon your nostrils, the breath of God that slays the wicked, the breath of God that breathed you into existence, the breath of God that breathed life into you, the breath of God that when he sent out the children of Israel, when he sent them out, when he sent out the disciples, he breathed on them. You have the breath of God that slays the wicked upon your lungs, in your nostrils, all about you. Let the breath of God be the power and the authority that you carry because it's his. And remember that no spell can be put on the breath of God. No spell will work against the breath of God. You have the power of the living God in you. Stop thinking that that witches and warlocks and, and people have authority over you because they are under your feet. All authority. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. You have been given all authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power over the enemy. And that includes magic. That includes incantation. That includes includes spells, nothing.
They don't have power over you. A curse does not have any ability to land without a cause. And your cause is fear. If you fear it, it's because you're going against the word of God. Fear is against the word of God. Fear is disobedience and fear is sin. It is. And I want you guys to know when we say this, I, I man, this registered to me today because I don't know how many times people have been like, I break off every incantation and spell right now. No, no one can put a spell on you. No magic will work against you. You guys, we have to believe this because if we don't, then we give a curse a cause to land. So it's an illegal thing. You have to be able to declare that out loud. You, right now, a legal trespasser, you are not allowed to be there. There is no, it's not allowed, to, it's not even allowed to be there. No curse can cause, no curse without a cause. So don't give it a cause. Don't fear these curses. Don't fear witches. Don't give them a cause to land. You cannot walk in fear. You have to declare this over yourself. No one can put a spell on me and no magic will work against me. According to the word of God, Numbers 23, 23, that it is written, it is written, it is written. And you claim that over you and declare it over you and it cannot, it cannot land. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a key today as I was reading that. It just, whew, man, every time he's talking to Israel, every time he's talking to Jacob, you know that's us. That's us. You know that. Oh, child of Israel or daughter of Jacob, you guys, we know this. So remember, no one can put a spell on you, oh, Jacob, and no magic will work against you. O oh, Israel, God has given you the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power over the enemy. And he says, here is a people rising up like a lioness, like a lion. He rears himself up and he will not lie down till he eats up the prey and drinks the blood of the slain. You guys, are you hearing this? O oh, lions and lionesses, you lions stand up. You are in the bride tribe. You are in the bride of lions, the pride. You know, you know what I'm talking about? You know, how there's a lion pride. You guys are the lion bride. We are the bride tribe of lions and lionesses. And God says it right here in Numbers 23, 24. Here is a people rising up like a lioness, like a lion. He rears himself up. He will not lie down till he eats up the prey and drinks the blood of the slain. Now, I know that sounds a little weird, but you guys have to understand that we are over this stuff. We have authority over this stuff. It's under us. We are lions devouring the prey. And I hope you guys come and get on with us at seven o'clock. It's in just a few minutes. I don't even know what time it is. My friend Michael and I, we're gonna go and we're gonna talk about the breath of God today because this is so important for us to understand the very breath of God is upon our nostrils and what that means. What does that look like? So stay tuned on Deliverance is Real is Real. Again, Deliverance is Real is Real. Children of Israel, Deliverance is Real. Okay, so I just hope you guys are blessed by this this morning. Remember, no one can put a spell on you, O Jacob, and no magic will work against you, O Israel. Claim it, believe it, declare it, receive it in Jesus' mighty name. See you guys in a few minutes.